Okay, hi and welcome to the Naval Tech Tinkerer. My name is Nikal Sjöman and I live here in Sweden and I'm joined by my son today who is six years old and he wanted to join in here to the first video. Um, so this is going to be the first of many projects I hope. This is going to be an electric conversion of an electric of a two-stroke five horsepower gasoline uh, outboard and um, yeah, why am I doing this? Well, first, I think it's fun. Uh, second, this is broken and uh, so it can't be used. I've tried to fix it a little bit and it, it just always breaks down. This is old. It's it's just too much energy to fix it and uh, I actually don't really like this anymore. It's oily, it's greasy, you have to repair it, you have to service it. There's always some kind of trouble with it. I would want something that's nice, that runs quietly, that I can bring my son and me and myself and my, maybe my wife, she's not a big fan of the ocean though, uh, out to the water and run for a long time. So, of course, what are, I could do some other things. I could go and buy, uh, for example, a trolling motor, but I mean, the power in this one versus an electric uh, trolling motor that goes on 12 volts. I mean, they're, they're just really, really slow. I want something that is, you know, as good as this one. Like you don't go and buy an EV that, you know, can only take you five kilometers or 50 kilometers uh, at 50 kilometers an hour. That would be like subpar with what you got. So if I'm going electric, I want something equally good. And then of course we have the alternatives. Like I go and buy something as strong as this. But then I would have to buy like something like a Torquedo and a Torquedo costs with a pretty decent battery pack, maybe seven, eight, nine thousand US dollars. And I just don't want to spend that kind of money. I mean, I could buy a new or a pretty new like this for about one thousand US dollars here in Sweden. But, you know, if I'm going to spend a thousand US dollars, I, I prefer to have a lot of fun with this and get something, you know, equally good or even better in at least when it comes to performance than a Torquedo for eight or nine thousand US dollars. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm doing this. And you know, I just also, the, the reason I started this channel was to share this journey because I've seen a lot of these videos out there and uh, they, you know, they start from this and 15 minutes later, they're just done. And then they have a lot of challenges and they don't speak about them, like overheating and you know, other electrical problems that they don't really mention. And I actually wanted to share that journey with you. Like, I'm gonna do a lot of mistakes. I'm a tech tinker, I'm not a mechanical or electric engineer. If anything, I could call myself a software engineer. But yeah, and this is really tinkering, uh, trying to figure things out, read a lot of books, trying to do it safely as well as I could, getting help from the community online to with all the challenges that I had. And I wanna share those with you because if you wanna do something like this, I hope that you could kind of learn from this and do it even better than I do. So yeah, what do you think? Is that good? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, yeah, so a lot of these videos, they, they go really fast and this is gonna be slow. So this is gonna be a lot of videos. This, this isn't gonna be one of those fast forward ones. I'm, we're gonna look, you know, step by step what we're doing, video film it uh, and so that both for myself to have some kind of record of what we did and hopefully my son will join also. He's six years old so he's getting ready to learn more and more. He's really interested and uh, also for, for you guys so that you can, like I said, kind of follow along with all the challenges and the thought process and you know do's and don'ts that I learned on the way. Uh, for example, there's going to be a high voltage system which is not that common and uh, well in some places like the US probably even forbidden on the, on the ocean but um, yeah. This is what we're going to do. So what are we actually going to do? Like I'll repeat again. This is a Volvo Penta. I guess it's somewhere from the 70s. It's a five horsepower motor. We're going to sh shift it out to a 3000 watt motor. And I've actually selected a special motor for this that I think would be a good match. And it's this one. So let me bring it forward. So this is uh, something you can buy on Amazon. I bought it on Amazon. I wish I didn't, but I'll tell you that why later. So this is a Vever uh, BLDC, so brushless DC motor, direct current motor. It has a nominal speed, I guess, of 4,900 RPMs and a max at 6,500 RPMs. And that's actually pretty much in the ballpark with that two horsepower, uh, I mean, sorry, five horsepower two-stroke engine would actually put out. That would also put out about 5,000 RPMs. So I think this would be a pretty good match together. Uh, 
But the even nicer thing of using this one is that it's pretty cheap. Like it cost me about $320 together with the controller. So yeah, and since it's 3000 watts, the direct translation between horsepower would be like 4.1, so a bit weaker than this. But it isn't really true because that, I mean, if you have a combustion engine, you have to rev it up to get some torque. And so the, the power curve looks like zero and then you rev it up and then you start getting some torque. And then when you rev it really, really hard, you get maximum torque. The electric motor is different. <laughs> so you, that's why it's not one to, it's not easy to do one, one to one comparison because you actually start at 100% torque. And then it goes like all the way to the middle and then it starts falling off. So you actually get a lot of power immediately from that electric motor. So yeah, I think that's gonna be real nice to try out. But the even better one, the, one of the reasons is that when you do a go-kart conversion or a electric bike conversion, you get these. And if you just look at this, like we have this handle and this gas, and I'm hoping that we can fit this one here. And the really cool thing, if you look here, is that you have like, you have not the gear one, but power level one, and then you can do that to max. And then you have two um, to max and three to max, but you also have forward and reverse here. So this one also has a leg. Yeah. Then you have forward and reverse on this one, but we won't need this anymore because we'll actually get it straight here. And even better is that usually when you run these, you have to have some kind of mechanism that kills the engine if you fall off the, uh, the motor. So, but since this one is kind of springed, the second you let it go, you actually kill the motor immediately. So that's actually real sweet, I think. And um, so that was the motor and kind of why I selected that motor for this. And we're gonna go into that deeper later in some video where I'm gonna deep dive how I figured out to use that motor. It's also been used before, so I've seen others. They had some troubles that I think we can overcome, but I think this is gonna be real sweet. And then we have the battery pack. I mean, on this one, I usually carry like a big red canister of gasoline, which is the stinky stuff that comes out and it's oily, you get it on your hands. It's, it's just nasty, it's really nasty inside also. And you'll see that soon. And then we come to the batteries. Like, you, <laughs> okay, let, let's, let's think about this a second. So we have this, um, you could go on eBay, you could buy like these crash Tesla battery modules for like 1500 or 2000 U US dollars. Um, and then you would get about 5.25 kilowatts, I think. And yeah, 2000, that's actually a pretty sweet deal given you know how much lithium batteries cost. But then you also only get a 24 volt system. And I'm actually planning on doing it this on 72 volt nominal. Uh, so the range on this motor will go, go between somewhere like 62 volts to 81 and I'll get to why because I'm actually going to build the battery pack a bit higher. Um, but we're actually not going to charge it over 81 volts. And um, so what I'm going to do instead uh, is to do, you know, go all the way. <laughs> So I bought these, I hope you can see them. It's uh, LG Chem, uh, 18650 batteries. This is what they call the oil of the 21st century. Let's see if we can get one up. It's these. And I bought these second hand. So, but the capacity on these, they're actually 95%. And I've tested over a hundred of them now. And I have a battery tester inside. I got three more coming so I can test even faster. But I got these for like a 10th of the cost, almost, maybe 15% of the cost of buying new, new ones. But these are almost like new. So for about 500 US dollars, I get 4.4 kilowatts of batteries. And I think that's a really sweet deal. And it also lets me optimize and I can kind of extend them in parallels if I need even more. And um, yeah, just to look at these again, these are something you call high capacity batteries. So you have kind of high performance batteries, I think they're called, I don't think, yeah, something like that. But the difference between them is that these ones you can get a little bit less current out of in an hour and these other ones, which will probably be a bit more fitting for this use case. Um, yeah, they, they're, they're, they have less capacity but you can pull a lot more amps out of them. And we get into that in, in some future video of how we're gonna overcome that challenge of using this type of battery. And there are pros and cons. Um, I think these are really sweet. They're good quality. They're high capacity. My tester has been awesome. And yeah, I wanna go for, for that. 
Hmm? What is it? Hmm. Give me study. <laughs> okay, so how we're we gonna do this? I'm just gonna finish this video soon and go to my son upstairs, I think, for a while. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take this off. We, I mean, the hood off. We're gonna remove the internal combustion engine. Well, uh, no, oh, yeah, it's kind of, ex I don't know. Yeah, it's a combustion engine. Um, we're gonna build a box to kind of hold this one in. Like you could put this directly on the shaft, like in the middle, there goes the shaft down and you can connect this on, but that would be pretty nasty, I think, as a solution. I've seen videos done, done like that, but yeah, I, I might wanna connect two of these. Like I have one on the way. Like I said, I bought this one for 3,000, no, 320 US dollars. Yeah, no, like it's 10 times more in Swedish Krona. So yeah, if I say it wrong, you know why. Um, and I got another one for like 40 US dollars. So I have one more on the way directly from China. Since my wife is from China, I can buy these things dirt cheap directly from China. And yeah, that would get, make it actually 6,000 watts. And that changes the systems and you know, how much battery we need to have and everything. But for this, I think 4.4 kilowatts would nominal would be totally fine. But yeah, we need some kind of box to kind of align it there. I think I'm gonna put, put it more like this, put the shaft in and then have a belt drive or like this, you know, what is it called? Chain drive. So I have a chain, I have a belt drive system here ordered from China real, real cheap. And not from AliExpress, I actually can buy it directly from China, which makes it much more cheap than most other people can, can buy. Um, and what do we have more? So after we built the box, we have put it all in. Uh, we're gonna move kind of backwards. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna look from the propeller upwards. We're gonna see if we need a shaft, a box, put the motors in. Then we're gonna test drive the motor if we can, but before we can test drive it, I need a power source. So we're gonna start building the 81 volt. Actually it's 84, but yeah, we're gonna take it to 81 volts. Uh, yeah, right, I don't know. <laughs> soon, soon my love. Um, yeah, we're gonna build a battery pack together, go into all the challenges, how we calculated things, what the challenges are, how we're gonna try to overcome those challenges with different engineering techniques. And yeah, then we're gonna connect it all together, do trial runs and everything, and then hopefully also optimize this to get maybe even stronger. There are things like shunt modding and controller you could do to get even more current into a motor. And yeah, just have fun during the journey and see if we can get this all the way. So, yeah, you can see my son, he's getting tired. He has been here all day long, following along. So thank you for watching the Naval Tech Tinkerer. And yeah, my name is Mikael Schoeman. I hope to see you in the next episode.